sapyard.com. We are ready for a new batch on ABAP RESTful application programming on cloud and on premise S4HANA 1909. This ABAP programming is also popularly called as RAP or RAP. This will be a very interesting and exciting instructor led live paid online training for all ABAP consultants. Please note RAP or RAP does not stand for RESTful ABAP programming but it stands for RESTful application programming. The A in RAP is for application not ABAP. Just a good to know fact. If you know nothing about S4 HANA or CDS or cloud, you are the right candidate for this course. We will start with a good foundation. We will introduce the participants to S4 HANA. If you already know about S4 HANA, do not worry. You will still find some new points which you can take home after this foundation class. We will invest some time in understanding the evolution of SAP from R1, R2 till S4 HANA. We will also talk about the fundamental difference between SAP ERP, SAP on HANA and S4 HANA. We will try to get unconventional concepts of in-memory and the popular column store. We are positive, even if you knew it, you will still appreciate the way our trainer will explain the concepts in a new flavor. Do you know the difference between SAP S4 HANA and S4 HANA on cloud? Our trainer will give you the clarity between the two. Just like SAP HANA was confusing in the early 2010, similarly SAP cloud is another enigma in the early 2020s. The goal of this training is to connect all the different technologies that make up the new S4 HANA programming model and give our participants a coherent end-to-end -end guide of how to develop our own custom applications not only on cloud but also on-premise S4HANA 1909. Throughout the course, we will develop several fully functional SAP Fiori applications and our trainer will guide you step by step, removing the cobwebs and charting a clear path of action for the participants. CDS or Core Data Service is the key technology for exploiting SAP HANA's in-memory capabilities by enabling the code pushdown. We will have detailed hands-on exercise on CDS and the participants will understand the difference between SAP Dictionary View and the CDS View along with different other rules and concepts. Associations are used to express relationships between different CDS views and resemble joins but they are no regular joins. Associations are easier to read because they don't directly program the joins. Ok, you might not have understood what I said. Just remember one term. Associations are joins on demand. Rest the trainer will clarify in details with real-time exercises and hands-on. On top of classic SAP ERP tables, the VDM that is the virtual data model is a core architectural change with SAP S4 HANA compared to previous SAP ERP. VDM provides understandable, semantically rich and simplified access to business data in the form of consumable entities without consumers having to understand the complex table structures and foreign key relationship. And what enables VDM? You guessed it right, it is CDS. CDS in turn consists of data definition language, data query language, data control language. We will see how we can use the access control in CDS in real project scenarios. We will develop our first SAP Fiori element list report app based on ABAP RESTful application programming model. This will be on cloud. We will create CDS views, add business object structure to them, implement business object behavior and finally create the UI consisting of the list report. We will get first an understanding of managed and unmanaged scenarios. We will also dive deep into the UI annotations and metadata extension files. Where there is SAP Fiori element, there has to be OData. Also, the service definitions and binding is an integral part of SAP Fiori elements. We will not only speak about the rosy pictures of ABAP on cloud, but we will also highlight the pain points of ABAP on cloud. So you should not miss this class. 
Transactional Fury app is the next step. We also need to understand the behavior definition, behavior implementation, service definitions, service binding. With RESTful application programming, BOPF is not needed. We can develop Fury apps with crude. Crude means create, read, update and delete capabilities using ABAP RESTful application programming. Other important concepts like e-tag, logmaster, auxiliary class reuse, error handling in crude operations, etc. will also be covered in details in this training. We can perform deep insert in Fury app easily using RESTful application programming. We will learn it with sales order header and item examples. We will also learn how to enable and disable actions dynamically in Fury app. Validations and determinations will also be covered and we will develop and deploy Fury app in SAP cloud platform. Yes, all there on the cloud. You will surely love it. Next, we will dive deep into overview page SAP Fury Elements application type. We will create analytical overview page for our business scenario step by step from CDS view creation to business service definitions and definition of the required UI annotation. List card, bar charts, table cards will add more charm to our overview page which we will develop on premise. Queries are just like reports. ABAP RESTful application programming model queries provide read-only access to CDS data models. We can say they are CDS data models without behavior definitions and implementation. Queries serve as the connecting link between the OData service request and the CDS data model. We will once again try to distinguish between the managed and unmanaged queries and when to use one over the other. We will learn about HANA data types, DDL, D DML statements, joins, storage procedures in SAP HANA along with implementing ABAP managed database procedure that is AMDP. We will take another closer look on the queries in RESTful application programming. This time we will focus on the unmanaged query implementation. Since it is unmanaged, you have to handle everything yourself. We will showcase how to retrieve data using filters and search options along with the paging and associations. We will also guide you to optimizing performance of queries using AMDP. Before we wrap up the course, we will learn about a non-SAP project that is ABAP on Git. Yes, ABAP on Git is an open source project used as ABAP client for Git. Supported from ABAP 7.02 and above, like any other Git repositories, ABAP Git allows version control of the code committed to the repository. We will introduce you to GitHub, teach you how to create Git repository and set up ABAP Git in your SAP system. We will also show you how to commit ABAP code to Git. We will also install ABAP Git plugin in Eclipse and also transform ABAP code to the cloud. In short, we can use ABAP on Git to export and import SAP development objects between SAP systems. By now, you must have been convinced that this is an action-packed training. SAP your team has worked for months to curate this course to the perfect ex extent to not make it too complex which no one can understand and also we did not want to make it too simple which is of no project use. This is an excellent amalgam of on-cloud and on-premise course which will make you ready for S4 HANA on-premise as well as S4 HANA on-cloud projects. Let us look into some important date, time and other information. The first day of the training is on 14th November 2020 at 7.30 am IST. This time is GMT plus 5.5 hours. So if you are in Europe, Africa or West Asia, you might not be able to join the live classes. This time suits better for participants from Indian subcontinents, East Asia, Australia, New Zealand, North and South America. We are open for registration till October 28, 2020 and the payment of the fee and enrollment process should be complete by November 5, 2020. The link to enroll for this training is in the description section of this video. Each class will be a little over than 2 hours 
and the whole course will take little more than 22 hours. Recordings of the class will be provided after each live session and participants will have lifetime access to these recordings. This course is for consultants with basic web programming knowledge. We will provide S4HANA 9209 server for all on-premise exercises. For on-cloud exercises, we will use the public ABAP on cloud space provided by SAP. The S4HANA 1909 server access will be provided till December 31st, 2020. The server access is included in the training fee and you do not need to pay anything extra for it. Please check the description section of this video for the course fee and other details. Thank you very much for supporting and encouraging SAP Yard. Please like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, LinkedIn and Instagram. Please do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that bell icon. Please email us at mailsapyard at gmail.com or whatsapp us at plus one two five one seven two seven nine two seven three if you have any queries. Looking forward to seeing you live on the training day. Have a safe and wonderful time ahead. Thank you very much.